Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, July 16th, and I hope that you are having a fantastic day. It is Friday. We'll have music in the room, <clears throat> and we are watching the SPY future here on the chart. We had a nice little pullback yesterday to the 8. Today, we are putting in a green candle bouncing up off of that 8. It's also an inside candle as of the moment. That's some pretty decent volume on that selling yesterday. If you look at the regular SPY index, I'm going to apologize because I kind of still have this cough and cold, and so I keep coughing, so I apologize. <clears throat> so on the SPY here, we put in this downside candle that actually brought us all the way through the 8, touched this trend line, came back up above, and is now was now resting on the 8. Today, you're going to see that we're moving back up through that pretty nicely. We left, uh, I don't know, actually we did not leave a gap there, no can't quite tell if we left the gap there or not. I didn't check the pricing on it. Um, no, we did not. Okay, no gap. But we can see that yesterday we came right back up, hit our head on this little bit of resistance that had been support for the prior three sessions. And now we're looking to move back through that, use that line again for support, and test this upper trend line. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, a few that we were looking at yesterday before the close. Um, Moderna will be on this here in just a minute. BNTX, Moderna, all gapping up this morning. PG is the only one that is not yet gapping. It is testing right at its highs. So keep an eye on that for a potential play. But all of the drug companies are gapping up. And we were looking at Progressive at the end of the day for a reversal trade. It's not doing anything here pre-market. But I would look at this for a gap fill trade around 95.60, simply to fill the gap. You're under a lot of moving averages there, so a lot of pressure ahead, but nice little area for gap fill. The other one we're looking at at the close is Disney. Nice flagpole, little flag coming in. Love this look. I actually like it here over 186. 186.20. That'll clear out a lot of that overall um, congestion sitting right there. We consider it a little bit earlier if we made a really nice move through yesterday's close, but really I like it that 186.20 area there in Disney. In Disney, I would watch the 820.185. Another one that we've, this one's been in our watches forever. We talked about it yesterday. Love this move up, and now we've consolidated for a few days, so watch for a move now to break up above this level. I like it above 162 there in Nike, and I like the 820, 165s. FISV, this one's a little tougher. It does have that um, 50 moving average ahead, but, but when it does decide to move, it makes some pretty decent moves here, so definitely one we want to keep on our radar. I like the 820, 115s, but again, with the 50 and the 20, or 200 ahead, it would be potentially more of a play in between those or an entry and watch to see if we can make it through there. What I really like about this is the lack of volume resistance that we do have. Again, under the moving averages is difficult, but it's definitely one to keep on the watch list. We've talked a lot about ransomware plays. Well, these definitely came in and crowd got the snot beat out of it here. I am looking for a simple reversal in this to come back up through the 20. I like it's had some pretty decent selling. Damn, I can't get that to go away. There we go. Had some pretty decent selling, several leases, but had some pretty decent selling. Pulled itself through the, the 20. Now looking for that reversal back up through there um, in crowd. Keep an eye on the 260s there. Costco. Costco looking to test the um, all-time high here at 4.14.35. Really just nice orderly candle cl um, closes, touching the, uh, almost touching the 8, pushing up. Was super nice. I love Costco. It's just kind of grinding higher here. Costco, uh, 8.24.20s look decent. American Express. Just got my bill, by the way. American Express. Um, this one has just done pretty darn well here. Sorry, I just want to get those lines off. Draw some new trend lines in. Those are, there we go. That's what I like now. All right. 
Touch the eight, push, touch the eight, push, touch the eight, push, touch, touch the eight, push. Looking for this to continue. I actually do like this all the way up to about 176, 70, 176, 65 area. So keep an eye on this. Anything above yesterday's close looks pretty good to me. In the a in AXP, I would watch the 175s, the 820, 175 in AXP. And Morgan Stanley had their earnings yesterday. Got those out of the way. Sit trading in this nice little box right here. I like um, I like Morgan Stanley over 93.35 to test that high and then just continue on. Nice little pattern here. Um, moving up, taking a break, moving up, taking a little break, right? Walking up those stairs pretty nicely there in MS. All right, it is Friday. We are in the middle of summer. We'll see if we have dwindling volume. We have retail sales numbers coming out that could definitely move the markets. Those will be out here um, in about, uh, what time do those come out? 8.30 Eastern time, so not too long from now. Um, so keep an eye out for any movement pre-market. Keep an eye on those retail numbers. Uh, XRT is the ETF that goes along with that, so we'll see if we get a decent move and push right back up above the 50 in XRT. All right, as of right now, we have um, some pretty decent green across the board in the markets. Gold is up, or no, I'm sorry, gold is down. Crude oil is up. So we'll just keep a good eye on the markets today. Yesterday, it seemed like we really got stuck, but the Dow futures are up a little bit, S&P is up a little bit, NASDAQ is up a little bit. And the Russell is up just a little bit, so kind of waiting on that economic data. All right, everyone, that is it for me here this morning. If you have any questions, please reach out. Heather C. at GivingTreeTrading.com, and I will ho I'll hopefully trade with you soon.